Well, you might have watched my last video I did that I was covering um, action and uh, chamber cleaning rods and some of the suggestions were that I had missed a couple of rods that I should look at. Now, just to recap, out of the last batch that I did, these were probably my two favorite besides my my good old trusty Bortec. So, you know, I do really love the Bortec. I like the little wiper unit that it comes with. Uh, now, one thing that I didn't mention is you can buy this wiper, uh, and this is a standard two lug. They do make a universal one that you can actually cut to fit whatever you want, and they make a three lug. And you can buy these separately. I'm not gonna lie, the shipping is kind of stupid expensive. Uh, for something like this, I think you pay almost as much in shipping as the as this thing costs. But I have yet to find a tool that's as good as this uh, for cleaning uh, my lugs. Uh, I just really like how you can pull a couple patches over it and it really fits tight. But I went ahead and kept these two. Uh, this is the flexible. And for me, this is just, I liked this option. If I needed to throw something in my range bag, I don't have to worry about it bending. And, and you know, if I'm, if I'm throwing stuff in my range bag, nothing's going to get out of round. So this was enticing. So for the time being, this is still in the maybe for traveling. And then this was the Pro Shot kit. Now, I'm going to show you. These are metal. And we talked about this big tip here and how I, I liked it, but I didn't like it because it's a big squared off chunk of metal. Uh, and it just, it was a little bit clunky inside of of the action now it is meant for you know like those dental uh wads those cotton wads and you can buy those really cheaply some people pointed out in the comments uh i just don't like it's not a matter of the cost of the wads it's that i don't want to carry wads and patches to a match or something like that i want something where i can just take patches and be done and not worry about whether i've got enough of every kind of cotton swab or whatever um I like to have unitaskers as much as possible but i don't love this this big metal design so I went ahead and ordered two new ones. Now this is the Pro Shot uh, fixed length rod. Okay, so same handle as the flexible, but it's just a solid rod. Uh, I do think it's interesting that they they obviously use a, a, a coated cable on this, but this is just a, a plain stainless, which is fine. And uh, it's got the same handle, which I really like this handle. So um, let's, we'll play with that one in a minute. And then this is the other one, and I haven't looked at them too deeply, but this is the Tipton kit. Now, both of these were about $12 or $13. I think the Pro Shot was $13, and this was $12. I'll put links in the description below right at the top there for you. Uh, this one comes with some of those little dental swabs. It comes with a couple bore mops, uh, these plastic brushes that everybody loves including, and then kind of the same thing as the Pro Shot. It comes with two rods, except plastic. So they've got a little give to them, which I really think I like uh, the idea for my range bag. They're very light. Uh, every ounce counts when you're flying and traveling. So I do like that. Um, I haven't looked. I think it's metal threading in here. Um, I don't think it's just plastic. I think there's actually a metal insert inside there for threading into. So that's good. And then this has like a little clamp thing. Uh, for putting the uh, the little dental wads on and then on the back it's got just a little paddle to hold on to so let's play with these and see what happens so I'm going to do the same thing we did before I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of grease on my lugs okay. and let's get these all dirtied up So that's all dirty and um, let's go ahead and try just the pro shot now the pro shot doesn't come it doesn't come with anything okay so in this particular case uh, I'm going to assume most people don't have a wiper uh, and if I didn't buy the Bortec I wouldn't have the wiper I would uh, you know probably have something like just an oversized bore brush which is what this is and let's just Let's just throw some patches around this and see what happens. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of figure eight some brushes and we're just gonna wrap wrap these up. Oops, that went the wrong way. Okay, and so I do love this handle. It's nice and compact 
the knurling on it is just right. Um, I think you get a really good grip uh, as far as pushing and pulling on it. It feels really good. If I get behind it, you know, if I really wanted to, you know, get in there and, and clean out my carbon ring, I think this handles nice and it, you know, it plays well with, um, you know, any kind of comb that you've got, especially compared to like the Dewey. If you remember, the Dewey had a big, giant, chunky handle on it. Didn't love that. All right, so the sad part is without a special dedicated tool, uh, you're really not getting into the lugs. Like, sure, I'm, I'm getting in there and cleaning uh, most of the chamber, but the lugs really aren't getting clean. So as much as I love the, the Pro Shot, you know, it is really inexpensive for how quiet, high, high, oops, for high, how, <laughs> one of those Mondays, for how high quality it is. Uh, and for being only 13 bucks, uh, you can easily go buy whatever kind of uh, lug cleaning tip you want for it. I think a lot of people are going to really like this. I know some people in the comments had recommended it. I saw it. I don't know why I didn't order it the first time. Uh, I must have skipped over it. Uh, anyway, so so there's the Pro Shot. All right, let's look at the Tipton. So the Tipton, just like the other Pro Shot tool I have, it's you know same kind of concept. You've got two different rods, one with the 832nd tip, one for cleaning out the lugs. The weight difference is definitely noticeable. And as I've said before, yes, I know it comes with those cotton cleaning wads, but my goal is to test this the way that I would be testing it on the road. And that would be to roll up some patches and stick them in here. So you gotta kinda, because this little claw you kind of, you get them wadded up in there. All right. And well, I know I didn't really pull much grease out, but in all fairness, I'll go ahead and put some more grease on this. I got some serious cleaning to do because honestly, the gun's just been sitting here since the last time I did this test. So there's a lot of red grease all over this thing. So now we have this one with, I think it's three, uh, three patches wadded up. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't hold on. Um, all right. So I'm going to stick a brush on their other plastic one and see if I can grab hold of those patches and get them out. All right. So maybe I need to figure out how to get it to stick in there a little better, but you can see where it did definitely get into the lug recesses. So that's good. Uh, I guess just figuring out, let's see if two works any better. Cause it's kind of a, see the hole here. So you gotta kind of work it in there. Maybe I just had too many in there. Let's see here. And I know there's going to be some of you that say, well, if you just use the right cotton swab, this wouldn't be a problem. That's probably true. It's no reflection on the tool. It's just a reflection on my use of it or my intended use. All right. So there's two of them wadded up. Let's try this again here. So obviously easy to use. This little thing on the back is, is just enough to grip with your fingers. And, uh, you know, that does a really great job. I'd have to say, uh, even compared to this big pro shot tip, I felt like I was banging around in there a lot more with this. So I was a little more hesitant to kind of push or pull on it. I don't have that with this. See with this one here with the pro shot, no matter where I put the wad inside here, the metal is always going to hit uh, metal on the inside of my barrel. So I'm always going to be clunking something, which that's probably what I, now that I'm thinking about it, it's what I didn't love about the feel of it. This here, because you've got one, it's plastic and two, you've got a little bit of the patches that are pushing against it. Uh, it really just, you can get in there and, and not really worry. I can kind of angle it around. I'm not worried about banging anything up in my chamber or on the, the face of my barrel. Uh, and you know, just really nice, uh, with two of them in there, like I can get in here and scrub the rail. Okay. And uh, 
it really does a great job. I'm actually really, really liking this. Uh, now, if we switch to, this one's really not gonna be a challenge, but if we just switch to the standard rod that holds the 332nd thread, uh, so this is, you know, I don't think we're going to get any surprises here, uh, but let's go ahead and tighten this down. And normally I would just stick a patch around this to get down into the chamber. And, you know, if I'm cleaning the carbon ring, something like that. So let's see what we can. So it's got a good feel to it. I can keep my fingers here and easily twist if I need to on this little paddle. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think this is the winner. Uh, I thought I really liked that Pro Shot kit, but you can see, I mean, it's it's digging in there. Uh, it's pretty clean in there, so I don't expect to see any dirt, but what I, what I do want to look for is the fact that it's corkscrewing around the brush, which tells me that I'm getting in there and digging. So just as a reminder, you know, I, I really thought this was going to be the winner, uh, potentially, uh, but I'll just show you kind of a reminder of, of what I'm talking about with this one is... You know, even if you put a patch in there, and I don't care if you're using their cotton swabs or whatever, you see there's still the metal. So listen when it goes in. Okay, that's that's it hitting the end of my barrel in there. Okay, and if it's not, I mean, it's it's partly that, and it's partly the metal on the bottom sides uh, hitting. And, uh, you know, not that it's really going to cause any damage, because, look, it's aluminum, I get it. Um, I just don't like the feel. So uh, this... I, I really like this uh, this little Tipton one, and because it's plastic, I feel very confident that I can throw it in my range bag. So if I'm on the line and I have a problem, you know, I keep a little, a tiny little Tupperware. I'll show you here. So I keep a little Tupperware in my range bag with patches in it. So if I have this in my range bag now, it can pretty much float around anywhere it wants. It'll probably just end up at the bottom of my range bag, but I know that it can get banged around and it's not gonna break. And if I need to clean out my chamber, something happens, rainstorm, like I've had weird stuff happen at matches and you just don't have time to go back to your car and, and deal with a cleaning kit or anything like that. So it's nice to have gear on the line. I know I could just roll up a couple patches. Let's see, I'm sure I'll get better at this, but uh, you know, look, I can just take take a couple patches, I can get in there, I can push around, I can angle it, I can really dig into there and uh, scrub away and feel really good. I mean, look how much more this thing got out. So I gotta tell you, for 12 bucks, uh, this thing is winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, I'm really glad to those that recommended it, thank you. I had not looked at this kit. Uh, I had looked at that Pro Shot single rod, which again is a fine rod. Uh, but I think this kit for 12 bucks, this is uh, without a doubt for me going to be the winner that goes with me to matches now. So uh, thanks again to everybody who contributed and asked me to take a look at a couple more products. Uh, you know, that's how we make things better. I'm not perfect. I don't always get all the products that could be evaluated. And when people step in and help point out some things that need to be tested, I'm happy to do so if I can. So anyway, hope you guys have a good one. We'll talk later.